What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth here. So we're continuing on where we left off in the last episode. Uh we are now um uh we are now in the in the home of the uh of the guy. Uh so yeah anyway that's kind of where we are. We're right at the end of chapter ten, I do believe. So uh You can't you craft them as well. These are all better than... Ooh, hello. How do I assign a weapon to somebody again? I mean, this sword has 67, but this, this crystal sword is way better. I mean, the attack would be down, but my magic attack would be better. Um... Let's, uh, we'll get, we can give some of these a go. Seventy-four. Again, attack is better, but magic attack is even more better. We'll keep his cannon as it is. Um, Same thing he has, Tifa. And we'll keep hers as it is. Much better staff to use. Yuffie. Go with that one. Better blade. We'll go with that one. So we'll go with this sword for now with Cloud. I might change it if... Uh, 
If I feel like it's not as strong, then we'll change it. She rejects them because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means these dudes can't die, right? <laughs> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean, are you even really alive? <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> 
don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! Sure. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go, but for now we play along. Yeah. <laughs> 
Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. And so our souls sought refuge here. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now, our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure, and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it, the Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. A place of Cetra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. Alas, it appears we have been discovered. I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. Uh, I guess we're back. Yeah. We need to get moving. Right! I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. It's good to see you again. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Salvation or whatever. 
But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are you left. Can't let him have it either, you know. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? Uh, no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia too? Probably. Better to assume he is. Well, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! So, Kitsa, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, I, uh... I wouldn't they say I know about it, exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. Terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet all Boogie will know for sure. might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Forgive me. But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon, so... Where is it? Oh. oh what did become of that thing? Ah, yes. Now I remember. <laughs> I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, uh, I did some tinkering. Some tinkering, I say, though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I... didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. I might switch to that other sword in a little bit. Uh, the, the blue one as well, because that one looked quite nice, and it reminded me of a diamond sword from Minecraft. <laughs> so I might switch that on, but I do like this purple one, and yeah, no, if anything, it does the same. Well, it does a little bit less damage, but it just looks cooler. Him when I see it, and this isn't it. Evil. Uh, 
Terminal. I'd bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm gonna prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. It's not that. Hmm? We should go. <laughs> Wait, you're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then, back to the airstrip we go. Fast travel there. Save us a bit of time. Not that you've got a choice, but thank you for choosing Bronco Airlines. Sit, my friend. You couldn't give us a lift in Nibelheim, could you? A little far. Not too far, I reckon. The old girl should be more than up to the challenge. Three hundred gil, not too bad. That's actually seven hundred gil. You know, it was seven hundred gil more, and it would have been what it paid to get us here in the first place. Black materia. You okay? 
Yeah. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. tell you before, but the terminal's probably gone. Nibelheim burned down five years ago. It did. Uh, not so worried, though. The terminal is as snug as a bug in a rock. Because Shindra wasn't about to let that facility burn down. Meaning the reactor? Well, that's important, too. But no. I'm no expert on that. to it. Might as well just do this tower real quick. Some of the fast travel zone as well. Cloud and Tifa's first time coming back to uh, uh, Niflheim since um Niflheim's since... not far now. First time back no. since. Yeah. First time. Same here. Didn't seem worth coming back till now. Didn't think there was anything to come back to. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Lots happened since then. Uh, Cloud. Stay close, would you? I honestly thought I was ready for this, but... It's just... too real. No!
They rebuilt it. Look at this. It's it's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, because it looks different. So, who do you think we built it? Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to fight. out here yeah and look locals only they aren't quite the same are they hello there can I help you greetings good sir I'm a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact special facilities at corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please, don't stay too long. Probably should look about ending the episode here, so um, yeah, I'll probably do that. Alright, I'll end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Alright, bye.